36 years ago, 1964. Okay, hey, still have those lifelines, just four away from a million, going for $125,000. Which of the following has the outline of its country on its national flag? Poland, Cyprus, Brazil, Iraq. Gosh, that's a toughie. Regis, I'd like to do a 50-50, please. Let's narrow it down. Okay, computer, take away two of those wrong answers, leaving a one wrong answer and the correct one. Cyprus and Brazil. I am pretty sure that I've seen the Brazilian flag, um, especially with the Olympics now. They're in a lot of events, and yeah. sometimes their fans are there waving the flag. I, uh -huh. I don't think I've ever seen the Cyprus flag. Um, and like I said, I, I'm, the only thing is the Brazil flag, I believe, has a globe on it. I don't know if they have their country's map outlined on that globe. But I think it's green and it's got a globe and maybe like a stripe going through it. I don't I don't think it's really the outline of the country. Um, so what do you think, Robin? This is an awful tough question for me. Um, I think I'm finally more nervous than my husband. Still have I a lifeline. I, yeah, I was, I've been thinking about that. I guess I just honestly don't think anybody on my lifeline list would know this either. And 64000 is a lot of money. I'm really not that much of a risk taker. You know, Robin, I hate to see you leave with one lifeline still available to you. Why don't you, I'm, I'm sure you've got some Penn State professors on, on your lifeline, no? Am I wrong? You are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I the, usually the think about... The professors don't like to hang out with us lowly staff. Oh, people. I know, but they'd be flattered, I think, if you asked them. But anyway, so you didn't ask anyone. No. Uh, okay. I, 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 think, I think I'm going to, to take a chance if I lose money, I lose money. And I'm going, I'm going to guess B is my final answer. Just won $125,000! Whoa! Oh, that's great! We're gonna take a break. When we come back, she goes for a quarter million. Robin, $125,000. Your name on it. I, uh, I thought you were going to uh, walk away and leave that one uh, lifeline there, but uh, I didn't, wasn't sure. Just, I guess, instinct. Cyprus. I've never seen it, so I figured, you know, I've seen that Brazilian flag at the Olympics. Yeah. You know. Well, you picked the right one. And uh, you won 125000 Should you miss it, now you'll lose $93,000. Right. Right. I don't mean to shake up Jim anymore, but I mean, <laughs> that's what's going to happen here. Well, we're going for $250,000, and what would you do with this money? Well, as you heard, I did go to law school, so I still have some student loans to pay off. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get rid of those, finally. And uh, I'd love to travel, maybe uh, see the British Isles, something like that. Take a good look at Cyprus while you're there. I will. <laughs> All right, you're, you're going to be the only woman who has ever won more than 125000 If uh, if you did it. We only have one other one who won oh my goodness. half a million dollars. Yes, a librarian from the Chicago area, Stephanie Girardi. But here we go for 250000 Let's play. <laughs> Which of these men was a member of the Warren Commission investigation into the JFK shooting? George Bush. John Sirica, Gerald Ford, John Mitchell. I'm pretty sure that I know the answer to this one. I know 
At this point, I'm risking an awful lot of money, but I am almost positive that the answer is C, Gerald Ford. That's my final answer. Right, Gerald Ford for 250000 Two away from a million and one lifeline left, she can still phone a friend. Wow. How do you feel now? It's starting to get scary. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, how you doing? Okay? Hey, I'm great. He's hanging in. Jim has calmed yeah. down now, and you're yeah. the one that's getting nervous. All right. We're going to look at the half million dollar question here. Uh, well, two away from that million dollars. I kind of get shook up myself at this point. But here it comes for $500,000. A 1925 advertisement for what product gave us the saying, often a bridesmaid, but never a bride? Listerine, Kleenex, Ivory, Double Mint. Boy, oh boy, this is such a, a common saying, and I just, I really never knew that it came from a, a product advertisement. Especially 75 years ago. Gosh, that's for sure. I mean, frankly, it seemed like an even older expression than mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, you know, some of these products I don't think have been around that long, but I, I really don't know about some of them. Well, why do we analyze this? Listerine. It's mouthwash. But people have always had bad breath. That could be an old product. <laughs> I know, but would it apply to often a bridesmaid but never a bride? Maybe if you didn't leave, uh, use Listerine, you didn't become a bride. That could be it. Or am I stretching a point here? You might Kleenex. be right, or maybe if you don't use about, Kleenex. I don't what know. about Kleenex? Ivory soap. The only one I think it probably isn't is, uh, is Double Mint, just because it, that seems like a little bit of a newer product. Um, I have no idea. I don't want to walk out of here without using all my lifelines. So, I think I better phone... Who would know this? <laughs> um. I guess an older person might have a better shot at it. Well, my dad's not that old, but he's very smart, so I'm gonna call my dad. All right, what's your dad's name? Bob. Bob. All right, our friends at AT&T will get your dad, Bob, on the line. See if he can help. Hello? Hello, Bob. Hello? Bob? Yeah. Yeah, Regis Philbin here from ABC's Who so Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Regis. How are you? Well, we're pretty good, and we're very tense. We have Robin and Jim here, and we need your help. Well, I'll do my best. She's won $250,000. It's going for a half million and I hung up on the question of looking to you for help. Good. Father's confident. <laughs> but we like a confident uh, photo friend. All right, she's going to read you the question, the four answers. One of them's the right answer. Robin, it's all yours. 30 seconds starting now. Okay, Dad. A 1925 advertisement for what product gave us the saying, often a bridesmaid but never a bride? The choices are Listerine, Kleenex, Ivory, and Double Mint. 15 seconds. Again, it's for the saying, often a bridesmaid, yeah, never yeah. a bride. Five seconds. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know the old saying, the apple doesn't fall far from a tree. My, my dad doesn't know. I don't know. It's too tough. And I don't have an inkling. I'm going to walk away. $250,000. That's a nice sum of money. Anyway, it sure right? is. That'll get you over to England, to Cyprus, <laughs> maybe even down to Brazil. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, Want to take a guess at it while we're all here just for the fun of it? Listerine. Listerine. You say Listerine. The answer is uh, Listerine. Aww. Oh, my gosh. With a one another 250000 But here it is. 250000 Congratulations, Robert. Good job. You did so wonderful. You did so wonderful. You did so great. Thank you. Thank you. I should have 
Yes, great job. 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 Great job.